do you hope to become a physician one day or perhaps a physician assistant or an optometrist or an, a nurse practitioner? Um, most pre-med majors uh, major in biology. Um, what I hope to show you today is that the human physiology program at Boston University may just be the right path for you. I want to start by introducing you to Danielle Dang. Danielle graduated from the human physiology program in 2004. She was planning to go directly to medical school, but got bitten by the public health bug. With great courage, she changed plans, got her master's in public health, and headed off to Zambia, where she was coordinator for a multi-site international AIDS vaccine clinical trials program. After a few years, Danielle realized that to achieve her goals, she really needed to return to the U.S. and get her medical degree. So she came back, got her medical degree from Jefferson Medical College in 2014, where she is currently a fellow resident in family and community medicine. So why did Danielle choose to major in human physiology instead of biology? Danielle chose human physiology because of its focus on the anatomy and physiology of humans, plus our senior internship, which is better for getting into medical school. There's really no difference. 80% of qualified students are accepted into medical school, but former human physiology students report that their prior exposure to gross anatomy and neuroanatomy helped them a lot giving them a boost during that stressful first year of medical school. How does the, the curriculum differ between human physiology and biology? In their first two years, both programs are remarkably the same. It's as an upperclassman that you'll see the difference. With the human physiology major, you'll be taking courses like neuroanatomy and neurophysiology, cardiopulmonary pathophysiology, and gross human anatomy. With Biology, your upper class courses will be molecular biology, genetics, uh, ecology. Another big difference between human physiology and biology is your senior internship. The goal of the internship is both to apply what you've learned in the classroom and to learn what a classroom can't teach. If you take your internship in a hospital or a clinical setting, you can count on direct patient contact. A laboratory internship will result in your making a very real contribution to a research project. Some of our internship sites include the Tufts University Bos uh, Human Nutrition Research Center, the Boston Medical Center Coronary Health Unit, Harvard School of Public Health, Jocelyn Diabetes Center, and so on. Opportunities for research abound. You can work in the labs of faculty in the human physiology program, as the students who are shown here, uh, in other laboratories at Boston University, or at one of the many research institutions and hospitals in Boston and surrounds. Students often ask about work and study abroad. Absolutely. We have many opportunities, some especially designed for our program. You can take your regular sophomore fall semester curriculum at, in France, Germany, or Spain. You can take upper division courses and your senior internship in Australia, England, Ireland, New Zealand. Um, or you can join an international service learning program like these students on a service learning trip to Belize where they were involved in testing blood sugar and educating locals on diabetes and its prevention and treatment. Later today, you'll have the opportunity to learn more about this exciting program. So, where do our students wind up? Here we see Edna Chu, New England College of Optometry, Nick Benet and Tanya Girgenroth in their third year of medical school at Tufts University and Boston University, respectively. Our graduates have, have blossomed in many other health-related careers as well. 
I hope you've enjoyed our whirlwind tour of the human physiology program at Boston University. Remember, with a major in human physiology, you'll be taking specialized courses in human anatomy and physiology, and you'll have the opportunity to gain clinical experience through our internship program, further strengthening your preparation for medical school. Thank you for joining us here at Health Matters.